Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and grace and peace to you elect around the four winds, believing and pushing his truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Rokaya, from the GMS Orlando camp. Coming at you with another in transit lesson. All right, uh, just some thoughts while in transit. You know, and uh, I'm going to entitle tonight's lesson, At the Lord's Mercy. All right, At the Lord's Mercy. All right, because when you get into the crux of it, <laughs> all right, when you get into the crux of it, each and every one of us is at the complete mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and our personal journeys are showing us that fact that we are at the complete mercy of the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. All right? And one thing you know that me and Akim talk about frequently here at the camp is having the mental and spiritual aptitude to fully submit to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Because the more that we are, are able to submit to the Lord, the more that we submit to the Lord, the more capable we become. All right? The more spiritual, the more mental, mental and more physically capable we become. All right, for this journey of ours, all right, it's it's, it's a lot like a chokehold, you know, you know, it's gonna sound corny, but, but listen to the, listen to the analogy first. <laughs> all right, so it's a lot like a chokehold, you know, for submitting to Yahweh by Shimei was shy. You know, when somebody has you in a chokehold, they're able to take you each and every way. You know, they're able to swing you right, they're able to swing you left, they're able to take you down, take you up. All right, and likewise us in the spirit. You know, hold on, it just started to rain. Let me uh, get into this car real quick. Uh. All right. You know, likewise, us in the spirit. You know, the more that we submit to the spiritual chokehold, all right, <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has us in, you know, the more capable we become, the more the Lord is able to sway us, the more the Lord is able to build us up and strengthen us, you know. And as uh, the scriptures speak about us being under the yoke of Yahweh Shai. You know, and under that yoke, you know, the Lord is able to, to sway us whichever way he needs us to go. All right. He's able to build us up mentally, spiritually, physically. All right. To the point where we're able, we, we become spiritually capable. All right. We become capable vessels of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and tonight's lesson is, is really inspired by um, the book of Psalms. You know, I was reading the, the book of Psalms earlier today. And, uh, you know, one thing that you notice with... Uh, our King David is that he acknowledged that he was at the complete mercy of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. You know, he, he acknowledged and he fully submitted to our power. All right. And for doing so, the Lord greatly favored him. All right. The Lord had had great mercies upon him. All right. The same mercies that we as the hopefully elect are seeking here in here in these latter days. All right. The sure mercies of David. All right. The reason why. Our king, you know, was able to was able to um, uh, accumulate or, or so like, yeah, that's not the right word. The reason why King David was able to, you know, receive the succours from the Lord, you know, all those succours from the Lord, is because he fully submitted to the Lord. You know, he acknowledged his offense. He acknowledged, all right, his his position. <laughs> you know, he, he fully submitted to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, our power. You know, and for doing so, the Lord greatly favored him. You know, the Lord had great mercies upon him, all right, which is the same mercies that we seek here in these latter days. You know, and I just have a couple of precepts I want to bring out. You know, Lord willing, this is edifying unto your elect. All right, but acknowledge, all right, that we are at the complete mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, and the more that we submit, all right, I'm talking totally submit. To the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, all right, the more capable we become. All right, the more you submit to the Lord, the more the more capable you become on your day-to-day -day walk. All right, everything that's thrown at you, you realize, all right, it's of the Lord. It's of Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, every obstacle that you face, you ultimately come to the conclusion quickly, you know, that it's from the Lord. And at that point, you know, when you reach that point, it's like nothing can sway you. It's like nothing can move you, all right, because you know the driving force behind each obstacle. You know the driving force behind each trial. 
and you know that each op each os each obstacle and each trial, all right, is sent as a as a character builder, as a spiritual builder, as a faith booster, you know, as a lesson, all right, to train us up into being those those capable men, those capable vessels here in these latter days. You know, the more that you submit to the Lord, the less that flat tire matters. The more you submit to the Lord, the less that job matters. The more you submit to the Lord, the less that woman matters. The more your spiritual priorities and your priority your priorities start to shift in a spiritual manner. And we become more capable of walking this walking and talking this walk. Alright, boldly as we ought to do. But you know, uh, with that being said, let's get into it. Alright, let's start off here in Psalms. Chapter 62. And uh let's pick up here at verse 12. Alright, it says, Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy. For thou renderest to every man according to his work. Alright, and mercy belongs to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, he has the power to give and the power to take his mercy. Alright, and we know that the Lord's mercy is going to befall his elect. Alright, those who are seeking out the righteousness here in these latter days. Alright, those who are uh, sincerely and truthfully repenting. Alright, in a soulful state of mind. Alright, those who are doing the first works. Alright, those who are laboring in this labor of love. Alright, we know that the Lord's mercy is going to be issued out unto them. The Lord willing will that number. Alright. But understanding, man, that the Lord is all at the Lord's will. It's all at the Lord's mercy. Alright, the Lord is, is it's at the Lord's disposition. Alright, to pour out mercy and to take it away. Alright. So always keep that in mind no matter what situation we find ourselves here in these other days. Alright, whether the mercy of the Lord be upon you or uh, whether it isn't. Alright, it's, it's of the Lord's power, it's of the Lord's will. Alright, and ultimately if we're of the elect, there's nothing that's going to befall us here in these other days that we can't handle. Alright, the scripture said that the Lord won't pour onto you more than you can handle. Alright, and although it may seem like the Lord's mercy is being taken from you, alright, it's just another trial. Alright, it's just another uh, another trial in order to increase your faith. You know, it's just another uh, a part of the proving process that the Lord is taking his elect through. You understand? So it says again, Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy. For thou renders to every man according to his work. And that's the that's the part that gives us hope. You know, that's the comforting part. It says, For thou renderest to every man according to his work. Alright, see, we serve a just and equal power. Alright, a power of equity. Alright, a power of true judgment. Alright, he's going to render to every man according to his works. Meaning, if you've been laboring, alright, toward the spirit, you're gonna reap the things of the spirit. But if you've been sowing to the flesh, you're gonna reap the things of the flesh, which is death and corruption. Like it says in the book of Galatians, the sixth chapter. All right. So as long as our works are that of righteousness, are, are that of the spirit, the Lord's mercy is going to be rendered unto us. Lord willing, we are the elect. But it's all at the Lord's mercy. We're all at the Lord's mercy. And the quicker we realize that through the spirit and the quicker that we submit to that through the spirit, the better off we'll be, the more capable we'll be. All right, in this walk of ours. All right, let's get this in Psalms chapter 69. And uh, verse 13, it says, But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an, in an acceptable time, O power, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth, in the truth of thy salvation. All right, and this is our prayer daily. You know, that in the Lord's judgment, he remember mercy upon us. You know, in an acceptable time that he'll hear our, our supplication all right, and render unto us salvation. All right, because we're coming into a time to where mercy is going to be seasonable. All right, let's get down in Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 35 and verse 20. It says, mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction as clouds of rain in the time of drought. All right, mercy is seasonable. You know, when I read this precept for the first time, it, it, it had me pondering upon it, you know, for a minute. Because when you when you think about seasons, you know, seasons come and seasons go. Likewise, mercy, mercy comes and mercy goes. 
all right and it sticks and it cleaves unto who the lord wants it to cleave unto in, in that season all right and then this season that we're entering into all right the season of the end all right the season of jacob's trouble all right and the child of our faith we desire for mercy to cleave unto us we desire for the favor of the lord to be shown uh, sh risen or sh shown upon us <laughs> you know if you get what i'm trying to say i don't know if shown is a word we're looking for the mercy of the lord to shine upon us So in order to do that, you know, first the first step, you know, to to uh, receiving that mercy of the Lord, you know, from what we've seen from our forefathers, is first and foremost acknowledging and submitting to the complete power of Yahweh by Hashem Submitting to that power and following His will. That's how we secure the mercies of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, that's our king. That's how our king uh, um, acquired his mercy by submitting to the Heavenly Father completely. Yahweh Shai as well. Yah Yahweh Shai, first and foremost. And when you really look at it, that's how every righteous man received their blessing. All right, and their mercy from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by completely submitting to him. Completely submitting to his power And that's one of our chiefest cha Chiefest tasks here in these latter days Is completely submitting To Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Alright And waiting for his mercy And praying for his mercy to be uh, Bestowed upon us here in these latter days Alright It's all at the Lord's mercy We're all at the Lord's mercy The quicker you realize that all right, the more capable we'll be in this walk. All right, the more stronger we'll be mentally, spiritually stronger. You know. With that being said, that's all I have to say tonight. Shalom. Stay up.